I'm Blake, aka Ghetto Cowboy from Missouri, and you're watching Live to Thrill. Yellow! <laughs> yeah! Good early morning to you. So early I can't even talk. Always oh, cracking, y'all. Have the tits y'all doing today. Uh, I am heading to the gym early. Uh, it's crappy weather out today. It's real crappy. So I'm gonna head to the gym. And then uh, once I get out the gym, I'm gonna run, see if I can find some ammunition for the 30-30. And then you come back home, and uh, I'm gonna, uh, hopefully the weather will be a little bit nicer this afternoon. And we'll uh, sight in the seven mag. Uh, we will play with the 30-30 a little bit, get all that stuff. I got some more corn in the back I picked up from the feed yesterday. Go fill some of the feeders. Let the deer have all their, all their freaking corn, and uh, <clears throat> you know, a couple things to do today. So it should be freaking fun. But first, time to get the hard part out the way. Go to the gym. Go to the gosh dang gym. All right. So we'll uh, see you when I get out, and then we'll uh, go try to track down some, some, uh, some gosh dang core lock 170 grains. You don't know how bad I want to ramp this right now. I want to do it so bad. Oh my gosh, so freaking tempting, man. Uh, the guy's looking at me in the driver's seat. He's looking at me and he's, he's like, don't you do it, outlaw. Don't you freaking do it. I want to ramp it, man. Anyways, just got out the gym. Uh, heading over to Dick's. Good old freaking Dick's. Everybody loves Dick's, don't they? Yeah. Just heading over to Dick's. Gonna get some ammo and then uh, head back home. And it's looking like it's going to be shitty all day. So I don't know if we're going to freaking go out and shoot or not but um, maybe we'll see Dex I love Dex you know the store you know the store the store because I'm at the store alright y'all I didn't bring the camera with me I'm so freaking out of it uh, but I got the uh, couple boxes of shells every time you know I'm loving getting these core locks now because they're all they've been on sale for the past month like 15 bucks or no 14 bucks a box so i'm digging it and then i got some targets as well you know them the ones that light up whenever you shoot it so it's kind of crappy out but i don't know we'll see how it is in an hour or so and we can go out but if not i don't mind staying in and maybe taking a nap again all right we out here at the range now I gotta go set up the targets ordered a couple more to, or couple more targets today so we can go set them up. Two 50 pound bags of corn for the rest. Core locks for the 30-30 American Whitetail. There's more of these for the 7 mag. Ear protection. Binoculars. Orange soda for in law. If you know what the tits that's from, put it in the comments below. You're probably a freaking 90s kid. <laughs> Alright, gonna go uh, set up these targets here. And I forgot a damn chair. And Jim Bob might be run, running the four wheeler down, so hopefully he does. So we don't have to go back up here. Alright, Some bitch over. We got some more over there too. This is where we find a lot of rubs. Find quite a bit here. We got some track. Look at that. That's a damn big rub there. Oh boy. <laughs> the 
the ridge down a little bit. Damn it! These <laughs> sons of bitches! Freaking hitchhikers, man. This was hilarious. Did you see that? What? She had the damn head humping it. She was humping the head of the other one. Oh my god. Oh, she's humping the head. What in the hell? <laughs> Sign her up. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> uh, Don't fuck up your signature that you never do. This is your first in-law signature ever. Shit. <laughs> you do it. In-law. Cool beans. In-law signing a CD. We're getting these freaking albums packaged up and sent out to y'all. In-law had to sign a couple. Oh my goodness. So, oh yeah, we're gonna get these signatures done. We gotta take out the trash. We got a bunch of crap to do, so. Finish up this crap, get them out. Tomorrow I'll take them to the post office since we've been slacking on that. Sound dick. Alright y'all, I'm sitting here hollering at my boy Phil coping some grizzly from back in the freaking day that I actually started this channel with back when it was Live to Thrill TV. Back old freaking old Ted Four over there. Outlaw and Ted Four. Me and Phil started this channel. What do we start this in 2010? Yeah, some shit like that. I think it was, yeah, 2010. We, we were getting, our heyday was, you know, like when we met each other and stuff. It was 2009, so. Yeah. 2010 was when I really rocked off. So five years ago, we started this summit. Over five years ago, we started this damn channel. Look at it freaking now, man. Well, Phil and I never did anything with it whenever we started it. We, we had like 10 subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's funny. Like, me and him are always living on like microwave burritos and just living the hard life of trying to get a good, decent job. So it's uh, it was a challenge, but it's cool to see how far it's come for sure. Yeah, definitely. So Phil is over in Sasebo, Japan now. He's in the Navy. So he's over in Sasebo. Just got himself a new freaking sick as tits pad in Japan. <laughs> Some bitch got a freaking three-story house. Like, it looks completely westernized and everything. Frickin' some bitch is rolling. Got himself a little freaking smart car. Or not a smart car. What well, did you get a Honda Fit? It's a Honda Fit. It's like they didn't even make them in America. Like, I, I'm trying to find information on the internet. And everything that you search for a 2003 Honda Fit's in Japanese. The owner's <laughs> manual's in Japanese. I'm trying to figure it out. Taking pictures on Google Translate. Like, what fucking... What the hell am I supposed to do? Like, I can't figure well, out anything. Well, they don't, they don't have, like, trucks. And sh they have, like, little cars in Japan. So he can't, like, go out and buy, like, a nice-ass truck. There's no really mm. place to get it over there, but it's pretty funny. Mm. Oh man, if I could, if I had footage uh, for this video of like just driving in general in Japan, it would just be a, like a mind-blowing experience for everybody because. And you drive on the right side of the road, don't you? Or we left side of the road? Yeah, left side of the road also. Yeah, it's crazy. Some of these fucking some of these some of these streets are just the size of like a I don't know like a Geo Metro. <laughs> I can't even. I, I couldn't even imagine driving with damn Chinese people. Chinese Chinese people. <laughs> Freaking Chinese people. I couldn't even imagine driving with. China. What the hell are you doing, man, Joe? Oh yeah, just fall. Yeah, but uh, that's crazy, man. But so, so uh, you could kind of say this is an old school on my shit video right here. This yeah. Is like way back in the day. Back in the day, we used to do on my shit videos where we talk to each other on the phone and crap. So this is an old school one back in the day, like seven freaking eight years ago or whatever but badass man so this is all for this is the original i noticed someone on youtube's got the old cope and some grizzly name now well this is the real cope and some grizzly the, the original <laughs> not no, no stealing I names here too. i noticed that too and i, I was like what, how, what the, either somebody thought of it or they just knew who i was from back then that know. son bitch comments on all my videos he's probably watching this son bitch right now <laughs> son bitch give it give phil his name back silly dick <laughs> very seriously yeah. Trying to make a comeback, guys. It's like ten years from now. But yeah. <laughs> well, he's in the navy now. He's gonna be there for a while, and uh, he's over in Japan, still freaking dipping. Oh, you spitting in a mud jug, air? Oh yeah, you know it. Don't tread on me. <laughs> yes, sir. What are you dipping? So, uh, what are you uh, dipping? I don't know if we're gonna get a whole a whole video tour in here, but I should at least get to Tommy room. So I'll spin the camera around if you want to record this real quick. It'll be a cool experience, I think, for some of the guys to see an authentic. Japanese room. Yeah, let's see it, so man. Here, here's one of the, uh, this is called a tatami room in Japan. This is where, like, Japanese families, you've ever seen, like, murals or paintings or something like that of some people, like, sitting on cushions with a low table, you know, having tea or whatever, you know, whatever the hell they do. Right. 
that's one of these types of rooms right here. So it's pretty cool. You got the authentic Shoji doors, the Tommy mats, and this is like a Fusama or something like that. It's where they have like family heirlooms and stuff. And it's pretty cool, but I'm just going to turn this thing into an American ass bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> America, mother trucker. Right. <laughs> it's super relaxing, just peaceful in general to be in a room like this. It's all natural. Like literally, even the wall is like a sand of some sort. If you rub it, It'll like flake off and not like a bad way, but it's just, it's just cool. Right. Uh, everything here is pure wood. I mean, just look at this. Look, look one of the windows in here is just like straight bamboo. That's crazy. <laughs> it's fucking cool as hell. So yeah, it's a, it's, I mean, look at this. Like couldn't have picked a better home in Japan. I got wood, logs, everything in it. Cap this some bitch. Cap this clip off by showing them out your damn balcony and show them how you're freaking Ric Flair in it right now. Oh man. Here totally. What the right, hell so. are you doing, dog? The house starts. The house starts on the second floor, which is unique, right? I mean, like all the living room, bedroom type environments downstairs. It's like the dining room is messy right now, but, but still getting uh, his furniture yeah, waiting. Yeah. Look at this son bitch. Look where this son bitch is living. Down real quick. Check out this view. I'm gonna walk out there with you guys, but just look at this shit. <laughs> Holy! It's crazy. I'm gonna walk out there real quick, get a better view of it all. Living the freaking life. Maybe Maybe even turn it sideways. I don't know if that'll help, but yeah, that it's, uh, is pretty sick. wild. It's a great ass view. That the balcony is... wraps all the way around and everything. Can't get any better than that. No way. Once I dude. saw this place, it was an instant steal. I had to take it. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. Now, who this wants this viewing angle? Let me know in the comments nice. below if you want to see me go and visit old Phil coping some grizzly over in Japan. Uh, next year, freaking soon. Well, this next year, New Year's coming up, and I got to do it before spring before it goes underway. It goes out to sea and probably dies because he's in the navy because he's in military. Ready, he probably will die. <laughs> All right, y'all, let us know in the comments. All right, Phil, tell him to tell him to keep it freaking hell belly. You signs of matches. All right, all right. Let's see. Uh, how you doing again? Keep it freaking hell belly. <laughs> Uh, what was that one thing I said before I forgot? Was fucking keep uh keep shitting in your mud jugs and spitting in your toes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, and, and then his his line at the end of his videos is always "fuck bitches, get money." Right. <laughs> oh, that's oh, funny. Man, it's good times. Yeah. Long time, but it's good times. Well, good talking to you, Phil. We'll see you later. Bye. Peace out. Always getting political. <laughs> All right, y'all. I got all my damn hunting shit ready to go for the morning. I got all my damn guns and the freaking cases and everything, bow and everything, all organized and ready. We're about ready for bed now. Just talk to get old Phil for a couple hours. It's nice to talk to him. I haven't talked to him in a while, so it's good to catch up. But I reckon we'll see y'all tomorrow, and hopefully we'll be able to keep something down. Been seeing some deer on the camera, so hopefully uh, they'll come out during the day. No moon out tonight either, so hopefully we'll be moving early in the morning when the sun comes up. It'll be nice. All right, y'all. I reckon we'll see you tomorrow. My name is Outlaw on a Map, y'all. It's Banjo, and he's saying, "Get that camera out of my face." See you tomorrow, y'all. Holler. Don't even put that kiss in. That's